What's good, guys? Um, I want to say thank you for patiently waiting for me to upload another video. I know it's kind of been taking a couple weeks, but today we're changing oil. Well, one, I'm training a monkey to change my oil, because two, it's really easy to do your own oil. You can use, you can change your, you can use the same method to change any car, like BMW, Mercedes, Lamborghini, Ferrari, whatever it is. I'm going to show you how I'm going to train a monkey to do it. Let's go, guys. Matter of fact, I'm gonna teach this monkey how to change oil. Bro, what what year make cars is this again? Uh, 1892. This guy knows nothing about cars, and he's gonna change the oil. Tools you're gonna need: gloves, size of wrench for your drain plug, oil filter wrench, oil, oil funnel, uh, oil filter. Sorry. And a catch pan for your oil. First off, you want to make sure your car is completely off. You don't want to do it when it's running. It will destroy your motor. Nonetheless. Um. Why is Napoleon doing this? Because <laughs> he's uh, used to it, you'd help me. Bro, I gotta get into this car. Yep. Step one, remove the bolt. Where's and remove the bolt though. I'll show you. Oh, sorry. Normally, you would have ramps and it ramp it up, but for this sake, we're just gonna, you know, easily do it this way. The bolt is way over here. Right there. The filter, right? That's the filter. That's the bolt. Yeah. You see it right there? Yeah, but I can't get a hold of it. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Please forgive him. He doesn't know what he's doing. Now, yeah, now pull towards you. Holy oh, shit. Here, let me help you out. Let me help you out. Uh, just, yep, turn away. Turn away. I'm so glad that four years of comic book writing led me to this. <laughs> Alright, stop. Stop. Right. Take, the, take the wrench off. Now loosen it by hand. The trick here is to push the bolt while turning it loose so you don't get dirty. Get it? So push it in while, while screwing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, push it in while screwing. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. So you push it in while screwing it loose. <laughs> just, just get it off. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Oh, yay. There it is. Just drop the bolt. There you go. Just, yeah, that, that's perfect. So the oil just drips like that. That means it's done. So we put the plug back in. Remember where this bolt was supposed to go? That's why you're doing this oil change, bro. Show people how easy it is to change their own oil. Wait, where did the bolt go again? In that hole where you took it out of? I don't remember the hole that I took it out of. Oh, uh, see where the oil is dripping? Yeah. Find the hole. See where, the, where it's dripping, bro? So I should put it in like this first. Can you see where it's dripping? Yeah. <laughs> That's where you stick it in? Wait, where is it at? It's righty tighty, right? Yep. Just the threads will find itself. They haven't found themselves yet. Let me do it. Bullshit. Am I going the right way? So, you want your hand motion? Turn right. Okay, this is fucking bullshit. Mr. Ryder, you want me to uh, do it? Yeah. Okay, now I just put that wrench on. Righty tighty. But it keeps coming back with me, bro. Okay, um, you're gonna wanna hold the bolt and then turn it. So you need to use two hands. Hold the bolt. There you go. Keep going. All right. Yeah, I can't move. All right. Anymore. All right. But yeah. So you want the bolt to be <laughs> snug. <laughs> Get on the cardboard. That's me. That's you. Take that wrench. Find that oil filter. Is this a big black thing? Yeah, it's a big black thing. That circle. Okay, yeah. grab it. Has a yellow thing. Yep. That's it. How am I supposed to grab this from here? Just like a wrench. Grip it tight, break it loose, and we'll loosen it. So wait, I've got all right, lefty loosey, right? Yep. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise? What? Counterclockwise? Yeah, that's, that's left. Oh, no, I can't do this shit. Yeah, you can, bro. Let me see it. Okay, put it on, put it on, the oil filter. I got it. See, I keep scratching it. 
You want it, you want it to like grip as tight as you can. Is it on there? Yeah. Grip it. Here, let me get underneath there. Loosen it up. Ah, oh, yep. It's burning. Yep. It's kind of good to do when it's hot, so the oil is like more liquid. Oh shit. There you go. Oh, yep. Shit. Yep. Just drop it. There you go, buddy. Oh, don't forget your paper towels. All right. Now we got the old oil filter off. Make sure you double check to make sure this washer is still on the oil filter. Now, put the new oil filter back on. You wanna right. put oil on the ring. The reason why you wanna do that is so it uh, helps lubricate the ring and it prevents it from sealing with the engine. You gotta, gotta lube her up. Okay, so you're gonna see where, you remember where it was, right? You want to hand tighten these as best as you can. You don't want to lose because then oil filter will drop and phew, new engine. Just hand tighten it. I think that's it. Nope. Tighten it as much as you can. So now I'm gonna add some oil in there. But how do you know how much put how much oil you should put in your car? Every car is you know, a little bit different. Either grab the owner's manual or just hop on Google. Simple enough, right? Or right, just fill it up and ruin it. And then buy a new car. So. Yeah. So this car specifically takes about four quarts. 3.8, but it's four quarts. Fill it up. Make sure your oil filter is clean, not dirty, because you don't want your engine to have grit in there. That's not good. Gotta, you know, finger the hole, make sure it's clean. All right. So just pour it in. You don't want it to spill, obviously. Just so it's continuous flow. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a line on the court so you know where to stop. Yeah, just oh, well, just pour it in. So how's it feel to uh, change oil? Pretty shitty. Why? Sucks. Well, I mean, it saves you money though. So now we got the oil put in. Trick with this is to start your car, let it run for a little bit so all the oil gets to where it needs to be. Especially since we have a new oil filter. All right, so pull the dipstick out, wipe it down. Dip it in there, pull it out. You guys can't really see it on your camera. It's a tad bit full. It's a gray about there. Should be right there. Well, that's okay. I'll just drain some out. It's two dots. Let me focus. Just two dots. That dot is low, and that dot is full. You want it on that dot. So, for shut up! I know I don't have my seatbelt on. So. For those of you who don't know the intervals of changing your car um, oil, I do mine every 3,000 miles. Um, some people might be, say differently, but in my point of view and what I've done, I never really heard anybody going over 5,000 miles for an oil change. I think that's 10,000 miles is pretty excessive. 5,000 miles, that's kind of uh. I do mine every 3,000 miles regardless of the car. It just helps the car last longer. Heats fresher oil in there. So what I do, I have this, there's like a little number over here. All I do is I hold this little button right here and it resets itself, so it's at zero. Just in case the battery dies, I got this guy right here. And there you have it guys. Three easy steps on how to change your oil in any car. It doesn't matter if it's a Beamer, it doesn't matter if it's a Mercedes, does it, it doesn't matter which car it is. Just make sure you get the oil that the manufacturer recommends. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you got all the way to the end of this video, I really do appreciate all the love and support that you guys share and give me. It really, really helps me get up in the morning. I want to see the project that I'm really getting into, something that I've, you know, obviously don't know what I'm doing, but it's all new to me. Stay tuned for the next video. Don't, 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 don't.